NCIS Hawaii is making a comeback for its third season. So now is the best time to see what's up with the main cast today. Why does Vanessa Lachey get all teary-eyed when she talks about her hubby? Who is Noah Mills in a relationship with? And how does LL Cool J feel about reprising his role in a new team? Let's dive in and find out. Vanessa Lachey as Jane Tennant. Before she joined NCIS as the first lead female special agent, Lachey participated in beauty pageants and worked as a host for Entertainment Tonight and MTV. It was on one of these shoots that she met her future husband, singer Nick Lachey. Now they co-host Netflix's dating reality shows Love is Blind and The Ultimatum, Marry or Move On. When Vanessa talks about relationships with other couples, she's remarkably candid. She even shed tears while discussing her own love story, which has lasted for over 17 years. Lache admitted she had to make significant changes within herself to find harmony in her family. I had to get through so much to be the best woman for him. Every single issue we had was every issue I brought up. Sorry. She also offered advice to girls who are in search of an ideal partner. It's so freeing to tell everything to them and then still be there to pick you up. It's really beautiful. And if they don't, which I've had other guys who know that, then they're not the guy I married. In one episode, Vanessa and her husband were discussing which celebrities they'd want to sleep with. Turns out, Nick already knew Vanessa's favorite, none other than Ryan Reynolds. Nick joked, Ryan's gonna be a busy guy, adding, he's gonna be worn out. It's refreshing to see the couple, who have three kids, share that kind of playful humor. By the way, Vanessa's close friend and colleague from the show lives just an hour away from her house. Together, they often throw lively parties, like the one they had on Halloween. Jason Antoon as Ernie Malik. Before landing his role as a cyber intelligence specialist in NCIS, this actor had an impressive resume. You might have spotted him in films like Two Weeks Notice and the musical remake of The Producers. He's also made appearances in episodes of Grey's Anatomy New Girl and Modern Family. Interestingly, it was Steven Spielberg who gave him his big break in movies. Spielberg noticed Antoon's talent while he was performing in the Broadway play Contact and invited him to join his thriller Minority Report. Despite his extensive experience in filming, it's Ernie Malik that he considers his dream role. How's that feel? Almost there, perfect. He still looks back fondly on those audition experiences. According to the actor at that moment, he was just fooling around. I put myself in a swivel chair like Ernie, and I moved around to different iPhones I'd set up recording, and then edited it together. But it worked out. Sometimes you have to just not give a shit, have fun, and be yourself. Did you know that Jason is actually married to one of his co-stars from the show in real life? Yep, he's tied the knot with Shauna Kofod, who plays forensic scientist Carla Chase. They hit it off back in 2010 and have been working together on various projects since. The couple even co-created a TV short film called Together Apart. You can catch glimpses of their adorable family life on Instagram, where they often share moments with their two kids. The stars call Hawaii home, and when they're not filming, they love strolling on the beach with their dog. What about his co-star, who joined Jason for writer Strikes? Yasmin Albastami as Lucy Tara. The fans just love seeing her connection with Kate Whistler in NCIS Hawaii. And guess what? The actress hinted that there's even more to come in the new season. I think, for me, it would be more of the emotional, yeah. loving, caring side, just because I feel like Lucy wasn't able to really show that to the most that she wanted to. In real life, Yasmin keeps her personal life a mystery. She's never been in public with a partner and she's completely inactive on social media. The last photos the actress posted were back in 2019. She's really keeping things low key. Albastami says she's found great support from LGBTQ fans for her role as Lucy. They were quite concerned about why their favorite actress wasn't featured as much in the second season. As Yasmin later explained, she was juggling shooting for another projects. She starred in the fourth season of the historical drama The Chosen and a dark comedy called Immigrants. The production on the series was paused due to the writer's strike, and Yasmin was also involved. There's a picture of her holding a sign that reads, Writers Guild on Strike, Pay Up or Emily Won't Be in Paris. A clever nod to the popular Netflix show Emily in Paris. Now what updates does her on-screen girlfriend have for us? Tori Anderson as Kate Whistler. Right from the start, it's important to note that this Canadian actress's heart is taken. However, not by a woman. Tori is married to actor Mitch Myers. 
Their chemistry on screen translated into real life after they portrayed a loving couple in the movie You Can Kiss the Bridesmaid. Tori and Mitch began dating in 2010 and exchanged vows eight years later in a beautiful Caribbean wedding. Although they haven't had children yet, they never hesitate to display their love for each other on social media. Well, the couple did welcome a new addition last year. They adopted a furry friend. There is a new sleeping beauty in our lives. Meet Scotty, our failed attempt at fostering a dog. Career-wise, Anderson hasn't secured any standout roles recently, but fans appreciated her portrayal of Blake Crawford, a wealthy socialite in the FBI thriller Blindspot. She's also been in a variety of Christmas movies, such as Campfire Christmas. However, it was her role as Kate Whistler that truly captured people's attention. It's a different story with another charismatic actor from the series, Noah Mills is Jesse Boone. Before becoming an NCIS expert interrogator, he enjoyed a successful career as a model. In 2014, he was even named one of Vogue's top 10 models of all time. You also might recognize Mills from starring in Taylor Swift's video for the song, We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. He's appeared in Marvel's The Falcon and the Winter Soldier series in the second Sex in the City movie, where he played Samantha's young lover. For the past five years, he has been busy running his own business. Mills is the owner of a clothing line called NM Athletics, specializing in gear for athletes. I was itching to do something in the world of apparel. I wanted to focus on this sort of throwback athletic vibe. And from there, I just ran with it. There's nothing technical about this. And as for his personal life, Noah remains pretty tight-lipped about that stuff. In September 2022, he posted selfie with a brunette, sparking some relationship rumors. But overall, his social media mostly focuses on his work. Mills is clearly a fan of the outdoors. He enjoys biking and surfing, so shooting in Hawaii must be perfect for him. For instance, he can catch some waves in his free time there. We've covered the main cast, but we can't overlook the new member in the series. After all, this actor has landed a special guest star role in the third season. LL Cool J is Sam Hanna. So, there's a new yet familiar face in the team. A former U.S. Navy officer and Navy SEAL who's into origami, antique cars, and collecting vinyl records. LL Cool J, known for his role as Sam Hanna on NCIS Los Angeles for 14 years, made his debut in the season two finale of NCIS Hawaii. Vanessa Lache doesn't even hide her joy about having such a companion. Some time has passed and I'm trying to get back into the groove and I need this guy to help me out. The actor himself also speaks enthusiastically about his role. It's a lot of action, there's a lot of, it's dynamic, uh, it's fun, you know, there's car chases, there's thrills, spells, chills. It's everything that you could think of in terms of entertainment. Well, this guy is no stranger to the movie and entertainment industry at all. He starred in hits like The Hard Way with Michael J. Fox, Charlie's Angels, and Deep Blue Sea alongside Samuel L. Jackson. On top of that, LL is a highly successful rapper, songwriter, and producer. The hip-hop legend has been in many commercials. Moreover, he has a lovely family. He met his wife, Simone E. Smith, when they were teenagers back in 1987. They now have four children and two grandchildren. In an interview, he emphasized that the key to parenting for him is not spoiling the kids. I just try to lead by example, encourage them, make sure that they know they can do anything that they put their minds to. We're excited to have LL Cool J join the series. Are you as thrilled as we are? Also, which cast member did you miss the most? Drop your thoughts below.